I have a review for you. I just came back from my errands and I am just so happy with my new pickup. I am just so like shocked. Like, I don't know. I am, we're just gonna start talking about it. Um, first off, I wanna say thank you to everyone that's tuned into my channel. <sighs> Look at my little purse. Thank you to everyone that's tuned into my channel, all my su subscribers, my supporters. What the world was I thinking? But anyways, all my supporters, every like that I have, thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, yes, I do have a gun view. I know I promised that I would take you guys to the range so we can see how the G2C shoots. But this review is mainly for my ladies. I know y'all saw the little bitty purse that I had. This is what I carry almost every day. So... In here, I have my new pickup, and I love it. Um, you're gonna see why. First, let me go ahead and take it out this purse and let you guys see it. And yes, it fits in the purse. What I have for you guys today is the Smith & Wesson MMP Shield Plus. Smith & Wesson MMP Shield Plus. I know y'all like that. And it looks tiny. Yes, I know. It is optic ready with the night sights. Yes. But don't knock it until I get into the re review. Um, I want to make sure that you guys know that this gun is safe. There are no rounds in the chamber at all. So like I did with the last one, we're going to start from the bottom and work our way to the top. First off, the magazine that's in here right now, it is, boom, a 10 round magazine. I know it's low in capacity, but wait a minute, I got something else. Also, you got the polymer grip. The polymer grip, it is so aggressive. This grip is so aggressive. And what I mean by aggressive is when you're out shooting or whatever, and say you got sweaty hands or you're nervous or something like that, it's very hard to lose your grip on this gun. Because the grip is just so aggressive, like. But you got the the magazine release, and guess what? What's so cool about that? It's ambidextrous. That means you can put this mag release on the on this side, on the right side, for the left hand shooters. Um, right here, of course. I don't mind for I don't mind safeties, but this gun does have a thumb safety, a manual thumb safety. You got the rear serrations right here on the top of the on the side of the slide. These sights are not adjustable. What I mean by optic ready, meaning I can take this plate off and I can put a red dot on it or change the sight a little bit, but this is a really nice setup. Can't beat the price. I am just so impressed with my new pickup. But um, yeah, this, like I said, it's Chamberlain 9 mil. What else can I say? I'm just so happy with it. Like, I did take, I'm sorry, guys. I had to shoot it when I bought it. The day I bought it, I had to take it to the range. And I know I posted a short on my YouTube. And I was like, hey, should I get this as an EDC or not? I had one person say yes. So I went and got it. And it shoots very smooth. I'm going to tell you, right now, this the barrel, well, not the barrel, but the gun is, the length of the gun is about 6.1 6.1 inches or whatever. And the weight is no heavier than 20 ounces. So it's a pretty light gun. I am in love. And yes, this is definitely my replacement EDC for now until I find something else. But as of right now, I'm pleased with my purchase. And like I said, this is for my ladies. And I say this because it fits in this little bitty purse. Like I don't carry a lot of stuff. Actually, one second, I forgot to show you all the extended clip. In the extended clip, it holds 13 rounds. This is my loaded clip. And let me show you what it looks like. For some reason, I have to lock this back and put the loaded clip in, but boom. You cannot beat that. My pinky just sits there. It's, it's just so comfortable. But with the flush clip, with the flush magazine, you know, I mean, I have small hands, but it's not ideal to hold the gun like that. But I like the extra, the extra room that I have for my little pinky just to sit down and rest. So 
this is a great great gun very smooth shooting i saw someone else in the store and they, they was watching me purchase it and i was like hey i think you should get it too it was a husband and a wife it was a couple and they was like what's so good about it i told them the same thing i'm telling you right now fits perfect in this little bitty purse on top of that you cannot talk say anything bad about the aggressive grip you shooting this gun it's not i promise you it's going to be very hard for it to slip out of your hands and i mean the magazine release is out there but it's not in the way you don't have anywhere to rest your thumb or anything like that but smooth shooting gun like let me show you one more time let me show you how this magazine just sits in there and this is the flushed like you cannot beat this the price i paid for it was like four how much did i pay for this 450 about 450 and i am in love 450 dollars well spent so if you out there looking for your first EDC, your everyday carry gun, or you out there looking for just something to start with, and you're not too sure about what you want to start with, I highly recommend the Smith & Wesson MMP Shield Plus. This is a very, very comfortable gun. I wouldn't, um, I did see some without the optic ready and some that had the uh, fixed white dot sights on them. Those are great. Those are really good too. I just so happened to pick up the one with the glow in the dark. These are night sights, so they mean they glow in the dark. And you cannot beat that. Check that out. Glow in the dark. But yes, Smith & Wesson will show it out with this one. And I hope I get to the chance to carry this one for a pretty long time. Uh, I don't plan on changing it. I think I am sold on this EDC. So... If you have any questions, hit me up in the comments. If um, you want to know anything extra about the gun, I will respond to your comment and get you the answers that you need. This gun is a very great, great gun. But go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe to my channel so you can see my next pickup. I have something really, really good for you. Really good. I think you will enjoy the next video. Don't think I'm out here just pining these little bitty guns. I was looking for my EDC because I was so ready to get rid of that G2C. Not get rid of it, but change it to a different EDC. But don't think I'm out here just buying these little bitty guns, these little pistols. I got something coming. So go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe to this channel right now. I don't know what you wait for, but like, comment, and subscribe to this channel so you can be tuned in to my next video. Until next time.